couple houses I've vlogged. I've been riding a fair bit, but I haven't really been vlogging. So I thought tonight I would come out and do a little vlog. I don't really have much to talk about, but I'm procrastinating more than anything. I have a lot of work to do, but no will to do it. I just don't feel like doing it. Do you guys ever crave to ride really fast? Like you just have that need for speed and you just want to go. Because I've been, I've been like that all week. Like I, every time I get on the bike, I just want to go like a hundred down these roads. And it's not good. Because I haven't seen a lot of cops in Fredericton yet, but I feel like as soon as I start driving like an idiot, I'm going to get pulled over and it's going to suck. Because I don't have the money to pay for a ticket right now. But yeah, like I'm just, I just, I crave going really fast. Like all of a sudden, all the time, it's just, ugh. I need to go to a track day, that's what I need to do. I think it's in part because I've realized that this little 250 is actually a pretty sweet bike. Like, it it rides really well. It's very flickable. It just rides really well. Oh, tunnel. Oh, you ass. Huh. Oh, this bike does sound good in a tunnel. <laughs> mopeds. Oh, those aren't mopeds. <laughs> those are Harleys. LOL. So yeah, I've started classes. And uh, for, for those of you that don't know, I'm doing engineering at UMB Fredericton. And... Uh, don't hit me. Um, engineering is obviously one of those courses that's like really, really difficult. Oh my god, I've got to follow you. Oh lord, let's go, come on, let's go. Go, go, go. I gotta catch up to that bike. Um, yeah, engineering's not the easiest faculty or discipline of study. Um, but you know what, so far I'm really enjoying it. I, I really do. I love the, the course material. I love the people. I love everything about it. It's great. It's a great university. I'm, I must say, it's, it's pretty awesome. Oh my god, would you just go. I've got to catch up to that book. Oh my god. Need for speed. Make sure there's no cops behind me. So far I'm really enjoying living here in Fredericton, but I've found that unlike St. John where I had a lot of friends and people I could hang out with and people I could ride with especially, Fredericton doesn't have that. I don't I don't have that same group of people. I don't have the 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 friends that go riding. I don't I don't know anyone that rides. I don't really have the craving to ride as often as I did, which is weird. But um, it's true. I think a big part of riding is having friends that ride as well. That's like one of the biggest parts for me is having friends that ride. Well, I lost that CBR 600. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. What do you do? What do you do? Blast the music. Is my headset even on? <laughs> Phone one connected. Uh, St. John has a lot of stop signs and intersections, but Fredericton has a lot of yield signs, which are better because you don't have to come to a full stop, and roundabouts like this. So I can just go. No, 
big a deal. There's that CBR 600. <laughs> oh, I gotta slow down. I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble. This summer, I've done 10,000 kilometers on this bike, and I already need a new back tire, which sucks. Because they're like, I think, 250 bucks or something like that, which is kind of, kind of ridiculous. So I think I'm going to do that next year, or maybe over the winter, I'm not sure. Je ne sais pas. But yeah, motorcycles are high maintenance, man. If you guys are just thinking about getting motorcycles and starting riding and stuff, and you think you got it all figured out, you don't. Motorcycles are very expensive, especially when you're, well, in high school going into university like me. Oh man, I thought it was going to be like some super awesome way to save money, but it's not. It has costed me so much money, but no regrets. I have no regrets. I love this bike. I love the experiences this bike has given me and I wouldn't trade it in for anything. So my birthday was two days ago and uh, my mom came down. As she was leaving, she sends me a text. She's like, oh, by the way, I forgot. I bought you a Dairy Queen Blizzard cake and I forgot it. And I'm like, oh God, how am I gonna eat that? I ate it. I ate the whole thing in two days. The whole cake. That's like eating like 15 medium sized blizzards. Like it's just stupid. Um, that's like five, almost 6,000 calories. That's so bad. I can't believe I actually did that. But it was good. Oh my God. There's nothing like riding a motorcycle. There's nothing, nothing on this planet. It is the best feeling. It's a great hobby too, because like, you know, you could take up pottery or, or some kind of ridiculous hobby like that, but why would you want to when you get a motorcycle and work on it like this? It's awesome. Oh, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I, uh, I replaced my mirrors with aftermarket mirrors. And I like them. I like them. They're good. They're awesome. A little less visibility. But. They are pretty cool. They have a signal. They're, they're signal light mirrors. But I haven't wired it yet. Because that involves soldering and all kinds of crazy shit. I don't feel like doing it right now because I'm in school, so fuck it. Fuck it. Every morning I have to cross this bypass to get to the university. I live like right on the other side of those trees. And uh, there's a little path here and it goes up there. But that is the university. Well, that's that's not the university, that's the, the gym. But uh, the university goes all the way down that hill. It's pretty cool. Ooh, it smells like weed here. Ugh. Someone is smoking it up. 420 blaze it. What the hell are you doing? Learn how to drive, Jesus. I've ridden that bike. At CBR 125, I rode it the other day. And I asked the guy if uh, if I could do a first ride on it and record it for you guys. And he said yes, yeah. so I just have to pick a time and do that. I think it'd be really cool. It is a really neat bike to ride. I really enjoyed it. I'd love to have a little 125 or, oh, a Grom. I would love to have a Grom. Anyway, I'll show you guys my bike not much special about it. It's a 2011 CBR250R and uh, 
There's a few mods to it. Integrated tail light. Uh, Two Brothers Exhaust, Frame Sliders, Yoshimura. I've got these cheap eBay levers. They were great. After Mecha Mirrors, they're awesome. Easy install. Other than that, oh yeah, I can tell you what I got here. This is a RAM mount. It goes right into the fork stem. And uh, yeah, it's great. Um, six for four Honda love, yeah, much respect. Look at my tire though. Look at how worn that is. That's the tire bar right there. Yeah, I need a new tire. I'll let you guys hear it. It's not a bad sounding bike at all. I just wish it sounded like a 600. I'll have to pack it in soon anyway. It's starting to get too dark. I'm not allowed to ride it dark, which sucks. Massive horse testicles, but whatever. Oh, I've got to slow down, man. I get to go to buy the bobos, the little bobos. No. I would love to kind of ride around on a Grom and just be a dork. Oh man, if I had a Grom, I would be such an idiot. Like I would go, go, go I would be going off roading and and you know what? I'd be doing exactly what Jake the Garden Snake is doing. I would not give a crap. Wheelies, stoppies, fanny packs, whatever. I gotta pee! Let's go! Oh, porta potties. Can I go in? Would he let me? I'm driving like a maniac today, holy crap. I don't know what it is, but... I'm driving like an absolute stupid retard. Hashtag university life, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag fuck, hashtag I'm going really fast in the school zone, hashtag, hashtags are stupid as fuck. Oh gravel, ugh, no mess. Anyway guys, I'm done, I'm peacing out, I hope you guys like the video. If you want, you should check out my other videos, because I have pretty awesome videos, I must say. But you know what, that's up to you to decide. Like, I, I think I have good videos, but you should tell me. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you're an asshole, and subscribe because you're a cool dude, and you like Modest Moto, and you, and you support my content creation, yo. That's all I got. That's all I got to say. I'm gonna end it. Bye guys. Peace.